Hey y'all, it's Jason again with All Star Welding back at you with another exciting video. Uh, today we're going to do a handrail, little handrail on this side and on this side for this customer. And uh, let me show you what we're going to do. All right, so we've got this inch and a half square tube uh, that we're going to be putting up, and it's going to have. Uh, Two posts here, two posts here, and there's going to be a handrail going down each each side of this stairwell, and down here at the bottom, I'm going to put a little plate right here. Uh, I discussed this with the uh, homeowner, and uh, uh, what we came up with was uh, putting the plate right here and a little piece of uh, one inch square tube about three inches long that will join to this um, square tube and on the end of course I'll you know cut this down smooth and you know fill that in but uh, let me get started I've got to drill the holes uh, in the concrete for those bases and as you can see if you can see here that concrete's a little crooked, so uh, uh, I'm going to have to mount the, the uh, bases first and then do the posts. Okay, so I've marked my holes for the bases uh, with my favorite Bic Whiteout pen. So I've got eight, eight marks here, and to drill these holes, I'm using a concrete bit and the uh, Bauer um, uh, rotary hammer and uh, I've got a quarter inch bit and you see I've got a piece of tape on here marked at three inches because that's that's how deep I want to go with this. Got to get this on the right setting. There we go. Okay, so what I like to do is just make a little indention on top of each of the uh, marks. Uh, that way the dust that I make isn't going to cover up the, um, the marks. Now to blow away this dust, I like to use the uh, uh, Bauer, a little battery powered blower. Again, all of this is available at Harbor Freight. You know I love my Harbor Freight tools. Okay, so for setting these bases, I use these uh, concrete sleeve anchors, and uh, um, 
since this is just a little handrail and it's going to be attached here and here and to the wall there it doesn't need you know any kind of big half inch thing or anything like that so I just use the quarter inch and you drill your holes leave that up about about like that stick it in there tap it in with the hammer crank it down with your socket wrench all right so now that I got these done I can cut the posts to length and then bring them over here get them level tack them in at the bottom and go on from there so for cutting these posts to length I'm going to be using the evolution 185 metal cutting saw uh, it does have a seven and a quarter inch uh, metal cutting uh, carbide tipped blade on here and it cuts super nice super clean and the best thing about it is once you cut it the parts are cool to the touch and I'm going to show you that here in just a second Would you do that with any other saw? I don't think so. So this little Evolution 185 saw is a real lifesaver. Uh, I do have the big 14 inch uh, Evo 360 or 380 uh, saw at the shop and I absolutely love it. But uh, I, was, I was at my local welding supply one day and he's an Evolution dealer and um, I was just in there buying some other stuff and I saw this sitting on the shelf and I was thinking this would be perfect for uh, my tailgate when I go on these little hand handrail jobs um, it has a maximum cutting of uh, two inches but uh, when I'm doing these handrails it's either inch and a half or one inch or three quarter you know something like that so really this has been a lifesaver because it's small uh, it can fit on my floorboard of my truck when I need to go get it and, and bring it over and uh, um, Uses a seven and a quarter inch blade But it's not the same blade that you would put on a on a skill saw uh, The whole hole is a little bit different. So you have to get these from your dealer or from evolution But uh, this is let me see if it says how many teeth it is this is a 40 tooth carbide tip uh, blade uh, that's real super nice and and you can see on that cut I just made that they cut really really well uh, there's not a bunch of sparks flying all over the place like you would have if you had like an abrasive saw or if you were trying to do it with a cutoff wheel on an angle grinder and the parts when you're done they're cool to the touch uh, which is another good feature so that you don't burn yourself but uh, um, if if you're looking for a good job site saw evolution 185 
Okay, so that was a pretty cool project. Uh, two handrails, both sides going all the way up to the top, and uh, um, customers happy. Everything's wonderful. Uh, let me let me do some close-ups, show you what I did. Okay, so we got two posts up here at the top on both sides, and uh, you notice this is up a little bit because there's decorative cap that's going to come in the mail. It's going to go over that, got a ball on it, and there's um, a decorative uh, base plate covers as well. And uh, so, handrails go down, it's about 11 and a half feet, and uh, terminated here, capped the end, ground it down, made it nice and Nice and flush. This is how I attached it to the wall there. Uh, for the uh, ones in the wall, I use these little guys that you nail this down and it expands that. Uh, and up there at the top, of course, I used anchor bolts, uh, concrete anchor bolts. But anyway, uh, this turned out really nice. Uh, the customer is going to paint it himself, thank goodness because I hate painting and uh, there you go nice little handrail and of course I did the whole project with my titanium flux 125 you should have already probably figured that out and uh, for the concrete drill I used the uh, Bauer concrete drill and uh, to blow all the dust away I use the Bauer uh, cordless 20 volt blower and uh, so let me know what you think of this uh, it was a pretty good project uh, I enjoyed it I enjoyed the customer uh, we got along well and uh, um, if you got any questions about what I did here or any comments, you know, uh, please feel free to uh, leave a comment. You know that I appreciate every single one of y'all and I answer every single comment that you make. Um, but uh, if you want to see more projects like this, just let me know. And, and if you got some other ideas about things that I can, you know, make a video about, let me know about that too. All right. Y'all have a good day.